me like doing a whole video update and then realizing that I should have closed the vlog out yesterday and opened the new vlog out yesterday. Uh, and I didn't because yesterday was hard. I had a hard day yesterday and it happens and it's fine. Hi, hello, it is January 6th. Happy anniversary of that time that my country tried to implode. I am uh, gonna try and finish Gilded today and then get 50% into Cursed. And I'm also going to be filming a bunch today. So I have that going for me. I think that's it though. I think that's everything that I have planned for the day. I just thought I would give like a quick update since I fucked up and forgot that I was like closing out last week's vlog. Um, but I am, uh, I'm gonna film a bunch of shit that I need to get done. A uh, bunch of cleaning I need to do because my parents wanna come over this weekend and I've got like stuff all over my house. And my house is a wreck, uh, but I have spoons. So hopefully I will be able to clean today. Um, also bonus is that I have both the physical books of Gilded and Cursed and then I have the audiobooks of both of them at the library so I can put pop some headphones in while I'm cleaning today and get that shit done. So happy full moon, first full moon of the year. Um, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, thanks, bye. She make my temperature rise. She make me want to sigh. I cry whenever she's twisted. Bitch, call collect for the fee. Draining my money from me. Always right, I don't miss it. I know it's sick, but I think that I like it. <sighs> hmm. Sorry, good morning, it's Monday. Um, hmm. Why am I tired? I got really good sleep. I went to bed at like, like 11 at the latest. Woke up at 6 per usual. <laughs> but I'm still so tired. Um, hi, good morning. Uh, it's Monday. Like I said, I am almost done with the familiar. I have about 100 pages left of it, and then I have 50 to 75 percent left of Cursed. Um, no, I have 50 percent left of Cursed. I don't know where I got 50 to 75 percent. 50 percent left of Cursed. I want to try and finish Cursed today if I can. I'm definitely gonna finish the familiar today though. Um, and I want to try and, or volume one of the familiar, and I want to try and finish Cursed. Uh, I just don't know for sure if that's going to happen, but I do want to try. I also have lost my fucking mind. I need to write blog posts uh, for all of the things that I have been reading and then reviewing in small format, but not in large format. I did get to go see my husband on Saturday. It was a non-contact visit, so that sucked. But they shaved his head! Uh, that's something that they do so that they can avoid needing to do any haircuts and then also printing any kind of like lice or anything like that. Um, I was really worried that his head shape wouldn't be able to pull it off, but he, he managed it. He looks fine. Uh, I went with his dad and a two hour visit is so very different than the 20 minute visit that you get in county. Um, the two hour visit was so much nicer because we could talk about all of the important things but then we also got to be goofy and silly and i was splitting the visit with his dad and you know i didn't feel like <sighs> either one of us felt like our time was being infringed upon by the other um so so yeah uh i do feel a little bit bad because i did not know his mom was gonna be in town this weekend and if i had known i would have put her on the scheduled visit for uh, next Saturday, this upcoming Saturday, but I didn't know, and so I put me and his dad again, so, uh, but we, I did get another one scheduled for next Saturday, so fingers crossed that that still gets to happen, because we still don't have any way of communicating outside of those visits, uh, so I kind of have to, like, catch him up on everything, that's a whole thing. Uh, my parents were here yesterday, and, uh, if you've been watching my vlogs for a long time and remember when I lived at my parents' house, you may have seen the other dog, which was my dad's dog, Terabyte. Unfortunately, she had to be put down, um, because she it was almost 16. She was pretty old, and she was having a hard time getting in and out of the dog door, and just, it was in a lot of pain all the time, and, and it was just time. She was old. Um, but my parents came to the house to bring me her old dog stuff. So now Cotter has like an automatic dog food feeder, uh, which is great. I have this big water bowl, big, uh, like, you know when you go to an office and it has the like water cooler thing? It's a dog water bowl that has <laughs> that thing on top of it. Um, I have that, which is great because between her and uh, Mr., they drink a lot of water. So, 
a little bit less. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. Oh, I'm so tired. A little bit less um, watering of them has to happen, which is nice. Uh, and I got tons of dog beds, which is great because Mr loves dog beds. He loves to lay in dog beds, but he kind of took over the one in my office. Um, and so Cotter would like come in here and just like walk around and look for somewhere to be uh, and couldn't because he was in her dog bed. And so now there's two dog beds in here and she's in one of them. He's saying her name so she keeps looking at me like, what have I done? Am I in trouble? Um, I, I will say it scared me to death. She was, she got really excited. Uh, and jumped up on my dad and then went to jump down and she I don't know what happened but she hit her head on the side table and cried in a way that I've literally never heard happen before so I like run over I'm in the kitchen I don't even know what happened and she's still crying like it's a it's a actively in pain thing and so then I'm just like having to heavily monitor her because I am afraid that something like she's got a brain injury or something because I've just never heard her do anything and be in pain like that um she's fine I was a little bit concerned because at first she was squinting um and only on one side but I had the kind of like realization that I do that when I am in pain like if I bonk my head I'm like Ugh, all right okay and we're good and that's kind of what happened with her so she's fine she's fine today um just her usual gremlin little self which is great because that's what I was concerned about so but I am going to go. I just thought I would give a quick update and let you guys know everything that's going on and what I read and whatever. Uh, I'm going to also maybe overhaul the Clear Your Shit website today, this week. Not today. This week, but stay tuned on that. <sighs> stay tuned on that. I'm going to go, though. I will talk to you guys later. Okay, thanks. Bye. Making up is better than bad shit. Fuck it, you hate me. I need you to walk out the door. Why you have to go and be ballistic? I love you, I love you, I hate you for stealing my vibe Tuesday, right? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Um, I got my new reading chair in. Hold on. I'm really excited about it. Let me flip the camera. Can we put you guys here? Yeah. So, it has two charging ports, a cup holder. It's very wide. Two of me could sit on it. Okay? The pets, they love it. Then, we have, oh, uh, I didn't think this part through. Eh. Eh. That's a problem for later. Let's see. I'm going to have to sort that out later. Also, the burly squirrelies on TikTok who made this part seem really easy, they like. It's not. Anyway. It's got under the thing storage. And the back leans back, so you could sleep on it if you wanted to. I don't, but you could. Oh, and it's got little pockets on the sides for me to put books in. I got this thing uh, a while back and put it up specifically for this corner. I'm going to be doing some rearranging. I don't really love where this one, this chair is at. Obviously, it interacts with the rug in a negative way too, so I'm going to have to fix that. But uh, got my new chair in. That's my new chair. Let's go back to the office. <laughs> It looks like a lot. I'm actually gonna get water before I die. Um, into the dark, into the unknown. I finished three books yesterday. Who am I, new bitch? Uh, I finished three books yesterday and I cooked. I made macaroni and cheese. Enough macaroni and cheese to probably last me like a week and a half if I was being crazy. 
sorry for all of the leg moving around, um, which I won't be crazy, but, and I'm still going to make sloppy joes this week, I think, so I'm going to have food for days. I'm actually going to have to probably freeze some, which, which I've never had to do before, so we will, anyway, I did all of that. I read three books. I read, I finished The Familiar, I finished Cursed, and I finished the Dungeons and Dragons, uh, comic that I had. Today I will be starting the beginning woods and then also Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I was really hoping I could find an audiobook for this because I just kind of wanted to sit and listen to an audiobook today, but it doesn't seem like that I'm going to have that luck, but I may just go ahead and listen to the um, first book in the Stephen Graham. So I have the sequel, Don't Fear the Reaper, and it is next up on my um, reading list for advanced reader copies, so I may just find the first book so that I can listen to that, so I can catch back up on, like, what happened, because I don't remember, and I'm pretty sure I read the first book, like, a long time ago, so. But my plan today is to read, uh, 25% of the two books that I just mentioned. I look so tired, and I promise I'm really not. I get enough sleep. Uh, and then I would like to, I've got three more books that I need to write my small reviews for, for, like, Goodreads and NetGalley, and then a ton that I need to write for the my like blog reviews. I will say though, I have two that I'm pretty sure I have the review written out. I just never scheduled it. So I may just do that. Um, but I did get two scheduled uh, and posted and I've got videos scheduled out to February, which is exciting. So there's some odds and ends that I need to do today to get like I don't know, in a, in a good position. But yesterday was super productive and I'm really glad about it. Uh, so here's hoping today is as well. Um, but we shall see. I'm gonna go, I've got shit to do, but I will talk to you guys later. Okay, thanks, bye. Good morning. The reflection on these glasses is really bad. Um, let me just take those off. Good morning. It is Wednesday. I've actually managed to update every day this week. What's up y'all? Except for Saturday and Sunday, I think. I don't think I updated on those days. That doesn't count, so it's the weekend, and I should get to not have to update things on the weekend. I don't know why I even have this in when I don't use it. Um, hi, hello, how are you doing? It's Wednesday, like I said. I am almost 50% into The Beginning Woods. I'm enjoying it. It is kind of, uh, fantastical, which is obviously my thing. Um, but it's a little bit hard to follow at times, and the pacing is a little bit slow, but I'm still having a good time reading it, if that makes sense. Probably, a not but anyway um but this morning I like ate breakfast and started laundry and took their trash out and cozied on up on my reading chair and read which was like kind of nice I'd had NPR on and I was just like listening to that and reading while like for 20-30 minutes and I think that that was that was like a nice way to get things going and I also so like I've had an ice roller for my face I got it for Christmas and I just like proceeded to simply never use it. And so I um, finally put it in the freezer last night, got it out this morning and oh, that's so nice. Especially cause I had night terrors last night. And so when I have night terrors, I get really, really, really hot. Like I get hot in my sleep no matter what, but I get really hot and I have a, an even harder time cooling myself off. So this was really nice because I did not have to deal with that. I just simply, <laughs> did my face while Cotter was outside and I was good to go. It was, it was nice. It was a nice, a nice thing. My cystic acne that came up from, um, the stress of everything is starting to go away, which is nice because I've never had cystic acne before and I did not really know what to do with that. <sighs> anyway, my American Girl doll shipped, which is also exciting. And she's shipping from Laredo, which is in Texas and, uh, means that I should see her in a few days. Hopefully. I'm gonna get the mail today anyway, because I should have gotten some letters from my husband. Maybe he said he mailed them out the week he transferred, um, which was, I guess, two weeks ago now ish. Uh, so we shall see. We shall see on that. There's a chance that it just, like, didn't get sent, um, depending on the content. And, uh, not that he said anything, obviously, that wasn't okay. It just, 
you literally never know what's like gonna be okay. <laughs> like I never know. I, I like write a letter with the full expectation that it's not going to get delivered because of unknown. Like there are some people that uh, in one of the groups I'm in that had talked about how she had cried on the letter and so it never got sent because they considered that um, like foreign like a foreign substance they didn't know what it was and so they never sent the letter and I guess I guess I, I get it all of the units specifically have had some issue with somebody trying to smuggle something in or whatever but like really so I, do, I think one of the letters I sent I probably also cried on before I even realized that that was a thing um my mom was messaging me and she's like I can't even use pink stationery and I was like nope <laughs> No, you cannot. I bought regular notebook paper and super plain and boring envelopes. I am using really standard pen. I thought about using pencil because of the left-handedness that I ha am, but I just use regular pen because I was like, I don't want to risk it. Um, because I don't know the rules around like what specific <laughs> pens you're allowed to use. I don't know. Um, they are allowed to have hardback books though, so that's cool. So I may get him a hardback if possible, but I definitely need to get him. I had ordered him the second or the first book in, um, in K. Jemison's, uh, what are those called? The Broken Earth Trilogy, which are incredible books. Um, he read the second one and enjoyed it a lot because they didn't have the first one. And I had sent him the first one to County, but, uh, then he got transferred like the day it got delivered, so. Love that. I need to take some time off to go pick up his property from county also I just have not had time <sighs> I also need to call them and see like what they need for me to be able to do that it's dumb they only do it on weekdays during business hours I don't live there why are you gonna make me have to take time off for this I kind of and and when uh my husband and I were talking about it he was like I'm sorry if I'd realized it was weekdays only I would have put your parents and I was like it's fine I'm not mad at you it's just annoying <laughs> Anyway, my laundry is ready for me to put it in the dryer, so I'm probably going to go do that, but I just wanted to give that quick update. Oh, and Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. Did I take my meds? Yes, I did. Okay. Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. Um, I started that, and it's actually better than I expected. I did not expect to be enjoying it as much as I am, so that's a pleasant surprise. Um, yeah, so, yeah. I'm going to get... Was it last week's vlog? I think it's last week's vlog. Yeah, I'm gonna get last week's vlog uploaded. I finally finished editing it and then I'm gonna probably just like take this vlog and start uploading it into my iPad so that I can edit and then I'll close it out tomorrow. Hopefully I'll remember. I've been doing better this week, but anyway. I'm gonna go. This was a super long update. I feel like I've only had long updates lately, but it's because I'm finally like a person again and I'm like reading and I'm doing things. I haven't been cleaning as much as I should, but I'm trying. We are trying, besties. We are trying. Um, I'm gonna go though. Okay, thanks, bye. Good morning. It's Friday. I did not uh, update yesterday because I had an almost go to the hospital grade migraine. Um, instead I slept <laughs> because that's what you do when you're poor. <laughs> yeah, I have great insurance, but do I still wanna pay the potential two grand ER visit just for them to pump me full of Benadryl? No, I can just take Benadryl in my own house. And hope my blood pressure stabilizes which is what I did um, and it did stabilize I'm now in a lot of pain uh, physical pain this is what happens I uh, end up having like fibromyalgia flare-ups around the migraine and it's super fun highly recommend always a good time mm. huh. anyway <laughs> I'm gonna close with the vlog here I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I'm just gonna keep this closure real short and sweet because my update for next week's vlog will be what I film immediately after this. So I'm gonna go. I hope you have, guys had a great day. Uh, okay, thanks. Bye.